brothers and sisters, my name is Ralph Dominguez. I'm the Teamster UPS coordinator for Local 63. I'm reaching out to you today because it is critical, it is important, it is paramount for everybody that is in Local 63 to vote in our election. I know most of you already have your ballots at home, but I know the majority of you still haven't voted. I'm asking you to vote because I'm pretty sure all of you have heard the phrase that says elections have consequences and this election is going to have consequences. So please make sure you vote because if you don't vote you don't count. Now if you haven't received your ballot what you need to do is call this number. It is 1-866-466-6455. Thank you. And again, elections have consequences. Thank you much. Oh, that's that. What? Yeah, okay. That blows. Now you got to stop sharing. Okay. Stop sharing. Yes. There. See? Okay. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Tug and Mule Show. I'm Tug. And I'm Mule. <laughs> it has been a long time. And we've missed you as much as you've missed us. I don't know. I don't think she's going to do the disclaimer very well, but we're going to give it a damn shot. Here you go. I don't think they missed us all that much. This video is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. Please contact your local representative regarding contractual language and contractual rights. All opinions expressed in this video by Wonder Rosie and Bionic Christine are our own and do not reflect that of our employer. All opinions shared in this video are protected under the National Labor Relations Act. And we are so <laughs> thankful. <laughs> Especially with the up and coming videos. <laughs> so, today we are going to be talking about all of the layoffs. And the opening video that you saw was actually a blast from the past. That actually was a video that Rob Dominguez had done during the 2022. Uh, election campaign for the local for the local um but we wanted because elections have <laughs> right that's why we wanted to share it with you so we wanted to remind you that, that... elections have consequences yes so because now because what we want to do is we want to go back then come to the present and then give you a little hint of the forward future Richard. yeah so did I, do I need to bust up my crystal ball? Crystal ball. <laughs> my magic? Oh, please. So let us clarify one thing first. Excuse me. Um, The 12,000 people that are being laid off that everybody's hearing about is all non-union and management people, not union workers. So that was just a clarification. I know that people have been asking about it 12,000 people that's all non-union and management employees so that was our clarification there for that unfortunately because that is 
like Christine said, the non-union and management, we actually don't have a number for a specific end to the union layoffs in any of the facilities across the nation. But here in our local, uh -huh. in our barn, they're going to close down the Sunrise and Waka. April 27th. And we had put, we, we have been putting that information out and we have been in communication with quite a few of the members on the Sunrise Hort. Um, and <laughs> um, we're going to be doing uh, several more shows talking about uh, trying to just educate you guys on what actually is going on and um, what the big plan is as far as we know for the company and um so we're going to be doing quite a few more shows in the future because i know we've been gone for a while and um but <laughs> getting back to what we're doing today so the ralph dominguez video from 2022 um he was talking about that current election um for the local and um he had said that elections have consequences and absolutely we and we totally agree with you ralph they do they have absolute consequences i never thought i'd hear those words come out of your <laughs> right um <clears throat> because uh they do um and the consequences are for the members and um i think a lot of the members are seeing those consequences now unfortunately um some of you may or may not remember during that election um you saw your bas in force uh out front of our barns gosh was it like weekly or daily a different barn every day. Yeah. I mean, but they were they were yeah there. they were at Ontario, they were at Waka, they were at Empire, they were they at were the Roma there. Land. They were they were everywhere, and they were in force. They they were out there with you know Randy and Sam and and all of the business agents. You saw Montoya and you saw Todd. Some of you know him as Andrew. Um, you saw uh Randy Escavel. Randy Escavel. You saw Brandon. Um, you saw Ma Marcus Adrian. Uh, do you remember, Bob, do you Tommy. remember all those years ago when I had to come to you and be like, can you tell me who my business is? Which one? Is? Yes, that's that's actually how we met. I was outside and, uh, and I and I was campaigning and all the BAs were there and she yelled at me through the fence. Which one of those mother effers is my business agent? Because <laughs> she'd been there how many years? Twelve. And she had no idea because they even then they had the same problem that they have now. And she wasn't sure which one of them was hers, and she knew I did. And so I, she asked what source she was on, and she told me, and I told her what, who her business agent was. So she proceeded to yell at him. Just for a minute. <laughs> I had to go clock in. <laughs> so, but. And then I had to warn the people that were coming out. I had to tell them, dude, they're out there. But remember, they only want your money or your vote for something. And that started a whole another brutal argument through the fence. But anyways, it did. It was a it was a trip down memory lane. Thank you very much. But in the last election, if you remember, those of you who were paying attention, <laughs> the business agents were telling everybody, and I quote, that you will see us more. We will be in the barns more. We will be there all the time. If you vote the KMAC Stewart Slate. We will be here all the time. We will be in the barns all the time. We will be here so much, you'll get tired of seeing us. This is what you were telling the members. And then a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, they said they're there all the time. And, and so this is, and so we just want to take you back to what you said in 2022 and where we are today where we had the meeting in February and you had quite a few members down there telling you that you're not in the barns. They, they don't know who you are in a lot of cases and they have a big problem because there's a lot going on right now. We have a lot of members that are getting laid off and they're very concerned and they're very scared and they're very worried. And so we, there's this, this just issue with, the lack of presence from the the local communication that works for the members and so we we had that meeting and the next on that monday there was they were there. there was a presence uh, for a couple of days 
of some business agents. And, but there were some statements that were made at that meeting um, that you guys are there all the time. Um, we're always there. Uh, we return phone calls within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, we're only a phone call away. <laughs> For um, who? Man. You know, because I'm sure if I pay something, <laughs> it's just, it's just, I got to tell you, I, it's just really interesting because I, I work in that barn. Christine works in that barn and I'm there a lot. And that's just not what I'm hearing. And, you know, I, and I'm not sure if maybe we're being lied to by the members or we're being lied to by you. And I, I know where my money's going. Unfortunately, my money's going into your pocket. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah. That's that's not where my money's going on this bet. <laughs> it's just not. So, you know, that's that's really where where our, our frustrations are at right now. Um, but moving forward for the members, there's a lot that we need you guys to start doing. Okay. Um we we really need you to we, we need the meeting. We we we've requested a meeting and, and we really need to have a meeting. Um, there's, there's a lot of members that need a lot of information. Well, wait a minute though, because Sam said that they don't have the information. No, but they're trying to get it. So we're going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt that you guys are trying to get the information from the company. Because he didn't even know and, about this until you called him or text him, excuse me, text him. I, I he did not. He which, did not. Which I thought was entertaining. But, but anyway. that's because I found out about it the day that all the members found out about it because I happened to be in the barn that day because I was handling business off the clock, off the clock in sunrise for the members safety issues because the business agent wasn't there. The members have been calling me for a long time, asking me to come over to sunrise. So I was going over there and I was handling the stuff that the, that, the members needed. Did you get his paycheck that week? And I no, I did not. Oh. But that wasn't the only week I was there. But no, you know, but that, I that had been going over there, and I just busy. happened to be there. And yes, it was a very busy week, and I spent quite a few hours over there that day. And there was a lot that went on, and it's very frustrating. And so, I just feel like this isn't. And and I think we also really want the members to understand this is not the norm. We have spoke to a lot of other principal officers and business agents and other locals. And they're very, they're, they're there when their members are laid off. The stewards are there. They're walking them through this. They're educating them. They're really letting them know what's going on. Um, so we're just asking you guys to step up. We're asking the business agents in this local to be there. You in 2022, you said that you were going to be there. You said that you were Your exact words were, we are going to be here more often. We are going, you're going to be here all the time. We, you're going to see us so much that you're going to get tired of seeing us. Well, we would like to get tired of seeing you. The members would really like to start getting tired of seeing you. <laughs> okay, when, when Christine and I are standing outside and we're trying to campaign to the members and we're trying to educate the members and we ask them who their business agent is and their answer to us is what is a BA? That is the most common question. That, and we're not talking about like six month or one year Teamsters, we're talking about senior Teamsters in there that don't even know what a BA is or say, I don't know who my BA is. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. That is a problem. My favorite, my favorite was when we were doing the IBT campaigning. Oh. And you, you tell people that you're campaigning with the IBT and they look at you and they go, what's the IBT? What's the, IBT? the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, the union that you belong to. Right. There's a what? serious lack of education going on in our local. What do you mean you don't know that you belong to a union? <laughs> what do you mean that you don't understand what so, I'm talking so, about? So, you know, Ralph, I absolutely agree with you. Elections have consequences and the members are paying dearly for it. OK, so let us. So move. moving forward, we are going to help the members get a little bit more educated. We need to know what's going on we are going to go over the actual layoff language we're going to read it with you guys there's a lot of questions that christine and i have we are going to share with you the phone number for the local and we need you guys to start 
contacting your business agents. If you're on Sunrise, your brand, your business agent is Brandon. If you are on Twilight, it's Montoya. If you are on, uh, if you're uh, Intra, it's Randy Esquivel. If you're, yeah. it's Randy Esquivel. Hey, if you're, if you're like PM them, I ramp, if you're PM Ramp or the PM Waka Hub. Then it's Todd, or you guys would know him as Andrew. So I never see them, so I don't know what times they that, that's, they represent the yeah. employees. So whatever. And but, and Marcus is in there during PM cargo, and and also on the PM ramp, I believe. So, yeah. but I think Marcus, I think Todd, I think Todd has the Hawaka during PM. Marcus is well known. Yes, and and oh, I look. I, I've seen I've seen Marcus in there more than probably anybody. Anybody, <laughs> honestly, I really have, and that's usually what we always say, is that we see Marcus more than anybody. And, and we, Marcus usually does return my phone calls more often than any other business agent. But I will comment that my business agent. I con I contacted him the other day and I would say five, ten minutes tops. I mean I could look and get the exact time, but he got back to me. And that would be Bob Ellis. And he was right there, right on top of it. And thank you, Bob. But yeah, it's not and we're not saying that every single business agent is bad. We are just <laughs> Lucy, don't be messing up my camera. If it shakes, it's my cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just saying that, that, that there is definitely a problem. And we need to fix it. And there was a lot that was promised to the members. And it is probably part of right, the reason why they voted the way they voted. So you need to live up to what you promised them. Okay. Because so they're paying you. So are we going to talk about this or no? I can't read it. Oh, that's right. You changed out your glasses. Uh, you want me to put the other ones on? Nope. The new combo bit that's out. Yes, we are. But let's do. You want to do this? The layoff language. First? Yeah, let's do the layoff language. We're going to share. We're going to share some layoff language with you guys. Okay, so I have. You have the supplement rider, right? Yes. Or the. The package sort rider, correct? Is the blue. Yes. I there shared the audio. Do I need to turn that off? I don't think it matters. Oh, they can still hear us. Yes, they should be. Able okay. To. Um, <laughs> I have the supplement. Well, now I have to switch that on. Okay. Um, the supplement. And it says layoff and recall section five. You're going to start with four. <clears throat> section four, termination of seniority. Seniority shall be terminated upon discharge for cause, voluntary termination of employment, retirement, failure to return to work within 72 hours following the date an employee on layoff receives a certified letter of recall mailed to the employee's last known address being placed on layoff for a period of three consecutive years provided the employee has two or more years of seniority and for a period of two consecutive two years if the employee has less than two years seniority <coughs> and failure to return to work at the expiration of an approved leave of absence. Section five, layoff and recall. Layoffs and recalls shall be in seniority order in accordance with each respective area or local addendum or rider. Which brings us to the sort rider, package sort rider. And I'll insert what Christine just read into the video so that you guys can actually like kind of read along with her uh, so you can see it. So this the sort rider, uh, the the blue in the back of your contract. Oh well wait a minute. <laughs> I know you haven't got it. <laughs> Shut, see, up. Don't think Shut up. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, mm -hmm. As soon as it gets here, Christine and I will be handing them out. Is section 26, and it's, it's actually called layoffs. 
Employees on layoff shall be given the option in accordance with their seniority of acceptance of accepting employment within their classification in other in in another center in the immediate area before new employees are hired. Employees accepting such employment in another center shall be placed on the bottom of the center's seniority list. When work becomes available on a regular basis in the original center, said employee shall be offered the opportunity of returning to the original center and retaining the original seniority date. In the event no job openings in their classification are available, employees on layoff shall be afforded the following two choices one of which may be exercised at the sole discretion of the laid off employee. One, the employee on layoff shall be afforded the opportunity to displace the least senior part-time employee within their facility. In this case, the full-time qualified seniority employee shall receive the appropriate part-time daily guarantee at that appropriate part-time rate of pay in accordance with their seniority in addition to maintaining their appropriate full-time benefits. Number two, the employee on layoff shall be afforded the opportunity to displace the least senior part-time employee on two separate shifts within their facility and the shift shall be consecutive whenever possible. In this case, the full-time qualified seniority employee shall receive the appropriate full-time guarantees at the appropriate part-time rate of pay in accordance with their seniority in addition to maintaining their appropriate full-time benefits. The employee, once selecting their layoff option, may not change their selection of the duration of that current layoff, except when an employee has been laid off for a minimum of four consecutive weeks. They shall have a one-time opportunity to change their selection for the duration of the layoff. An employee requesting a change of their layoff choice shall notify the company in writing a minimum of one week prior to the start of their new choice. When work becomes available on a regular basis in the original center, the employee must retain and return. return and retains their original seniority date. Upon request, the company will provide the local union with re relevant layoff information. Any laid off package car driver or combination employee who chooses to displace one part-time inside employee shall also be able to exercise their seniority to perform exception air delivery, provided they are qualified to do so. So there's there's a lot of stuff in there that a I, lot to unpack in here. And Christine and I understand some of it. A lot of it. <laughs> I probably understand a little bit more, <laughs> but I don't want to comment on this because I don't want to step on any toes of the local and what they might currently be doing to, um, as they're working with the company. Um, I think that the local needs to address any questions that you guys have pertaining to this this the understanding of this language and how it reads i don't think that i don't think it's a good idea for christine and i to comment on this at this time i think that the best thing for us to do is if you guys want us to we can do a show where we come up with some qualified questions that we could all ask at the meeting um, that we should be having soon for all the laid off employees at the local. Um, and uh, you guys could, and then we could just get together as a, a group of members and address those questions to the, the leadership at the local when we have that meeting. But um, we just wanted you to understand that this is the language you guys need to look into this language. You can um, ask the BAs, you can call the local, you can ask the BAs about any questions you may have pertaining to this specific language. And you can even ask some of your shop stewards in regards to this particular language. But you guys need to be really aware of this language right now, because this is what's going to affect you moving forward. If you are in one of those groups that have been laid off. Um, most recently, we know that there's been another about 24 layoffs. There was some part-timers on Sunrise 
Thursday and some guys on a sword and Twilight. So we were losing more part-timers. Um, we uh, wanted to, we had some of the questions that we did have was about the combo bid. Okay. There was 12, 12, 12 new jobs that were opened up, but, if the people, why why were we putting why are we putting those jobs out when we have all these people getting going to be laid off? You know, like I have I don't understand. I'm I'm, I'm concerned. It doesn't affect me, but it affects my brothers and sisters. Right. So it concerns me that we're putting these jobs out now. Why not hold them in the pocket until? everyone who's being laid off gets placed into a job. Right. And I guess mine and Christine's other concern was, and, and maybe we're wrong. Okay. <laughs> and, and if we are, then please Sam or Brandon or Ralph or whoever Marcus call us and, and explain to us what we are not understanding with these combo jobs. And we will correct it on our next show. But here's what we really don't understand about so from what our understanding is with the combo jobs is you put out these 12 and if 12 combos bid on them and they get let's, a job. Let's say they're all the Sunrise employees, 12 Sunrise employees bid on those jobs. And they all get them. And they're all awarded. Then normally what happens is 30 days later, their job repopulates and becomes a new combo job. There's no new job to repopulate. So all those 12 jobs just go away. Now, you guys may say that that just replaces the 12 combos on Sunrise that needed to get placed. But that's technically that's not how we're seeing it, because doesn't that take away from the number of jobs? It takes away from the number of jobs that we're supposed to have, because <laughs> those are those aren't all jobs that had anything to do with the sunrise sort volume because some of the jobs that you guys created were air cargo and none of the volume coming from sunrise is going to air cargo. So, so it's just, it's I just, just, we just don't understand it. Like we're, we're, we're not, we're, we're kind of confused because we feel like we're going to lose 12 combo jobs that potentially possibly could have gone to part-timers and allowed them to go full time. And it's just a weird time for us to be creating combo jobs like new out there in the in the atmosphere when we have part-timers being laid off and entire sorts going down and then rumors of other sorts going down and it's just weird it's just like an odd thing to put these out there because i just feel like like christine said you could just hold them off and say hey you know what we'll put these out there after we've placed all these guys that we got to figure out where to put them because they're freaking out in there right now. Like yeah. they don't know if they're going to have split shifts. They don't know if they're going to have a home. They don't know if they're going to be in the layoff. They don't know what's going on. And unfortunately we're not getting a lot of answers. So we need a meeting. We have a lot of questions. Um, there's a lot of concerns and there's a lot going on in the barn every day. And so it would be helpful if there was maybe a VA in there every day for a few hours, at least one of you. It'd be nice. Okay. I think so, you have a, a thing you're supposed to be looking up for us. Okay. Well, you keep talking while I look it up. Fine. Thanks. Jeez. You got more to say. I talk a lot anyways. You just, you, don't we all know that? No. <laughs> they all miss me. They don't miss you. I know. That's all right. <laughs> That's quite all right. I don't mind. I'll take, I'll play the second string, second fiddle. Is that what it is? Second fiddle. I think I found it. Yeah, you did. That was fast. Expedi yeah, you I gotta get to save on travel. Stupid commercials. We hate commercials. This is a special, another special one. Okay. We like these, don't we? We do. We're oh, gonna you got to share it. 
Sorry. I was getting ahead of myself. (laughs) Have we been sharing the whole time? Oh, just because we were already sharing. Oops. Oops. I'm going to have to edit. (laughs) This is going to be a weird video. It's been too long. Okay. So, okay. You're sharing. Okay. Anyways, this, this is, this is special. Just play all of you business agents. This is our, us from us to you. (laughs) I think we're going to be like in a little picture the whole time. Oh God. Yeah. Cause the blue stream is going to be up. Yeah. It's It's just been too long since we've done this, but that was our closing song for today. So we just wanted to remind those business agents. Responsibility. Listen to Dolly. Yeah. Bye.